Embarrassment's part of life. It's also part of the NFL, and your team has plenty of it. He's going to fumble the football. Mark Sanchez not expecting it, and it was the backside of Brandon Moore that knocked the ball out. All 32 NFL teams have their own unique histories, but not all of it is good. At one point or another, every NFL franchise has hit a low point. Here is the most embarrassing NFL record held by your favorite team. And a big shout out to my man for suggesting this video. My man. Arizona Cardinals, longest championship drought. No North American professional sports team has a longer drought than the Cardinals. The franchise last won a league title, the NFL Championship, in 1947. The franchise was based in Chicago at the time. Atlanta Falcons, biggest blown lead in a Super Bowl. The Falcons held a 25-point lead over the New England Patriots midway through the third quarter of the Super Bowl, specifically Super Bowl 51. Of course, they found a way to self-implode entirely, while Tom Brady led a historic comeback for the ages. Baltimore Ravens, first team to blow two 14-point leads in a playoff game. The Ravens had already packed up two playoff victories at Gillette Stadium heading into the 2014 AFC Divisional Round. So when they built up a 14-0 lead and 28-14 leads, the Pats outscored Baltimore 21-3 the rest of the way for a thrilling 35-31 victory. Buffalo Bills, only team to lose four straight Super Bowls. Not much explanation required here. The Bills won four straight AFC Championship banners from 1990 to 93. But as every Buffalo sports fan knows, they didn't once come away with the Lombardi Trophy. They came awfully close in Super Bowl 52, only losing to the New York Giants on a last second field goal missed by Scott Norwood. The Bills were blown out big time in the next three Super Bowls. Carolina Panthers, tie. Longest single season losing streak with wins. The 2008 Detroit Lions in 2017, Cleveland Browns went 0-16, but the 2001 Carolina squad made history in their own sad way. After winning their week one opener, the Panthers proceeded to lose each of their final 15 games. They were the first team in the Super Bowl era to achieve that embarrassing feat. Chicago Bears, most seasons leading the league in penalties. Admittedly, we're nitpicking a bit here, as the Bears simply don't have that set of a history compared to other several other franchises. That said, the Bears hold a rather embarrassing feat for most seasons leading the league in penalties, with a whopping 16. On the bright side, they haven't led the NFL in that category since 1976, so there's that. Cincinnati Bengals, lowest all-time postseason winning percentage. Bengals fans don't want to be reminded that they haven't won a playoff game since 1990. But that's not even the saddest part. The Bengals hold a 5-14 and all-time postseason record. This adds up to a .263 postseason percentage, the worst among all 32 teams. Cleveland Browns, fewest first downs in a season. The 2000 Cleveland Browns weren't even close to being the worst squad in the franchise's history. Obviously, that notion goes to an 0-16 group from 2017. But the 2000 Browns set an embarrassing feat that will probably never be broken. That year, the team recorded just 176 total first downs, the fewest ever in a season. I mean, even the worst teams these days get well over 200 first downs in any given year. Dallas Cowboys, tie. Longest home losing streak. Tom Landry's final season in Dallas ended with a whimper. The team won a woeful 3-13 on the year. They lost their final six games at Texas Stadium. 1989 marked the first year of Jerry Jones' ownership and of the Jimmy Johnson era. Dallas went 1-15 that year, losing all eight home games. They carried a brutal 14 home game losing streak into 1990. The streak finally ended with a week one win against the San Diego Chargers. Denver Broncos, tie. Most Super Bowl losses. Only six teams have more Super Bowl banners than the Broncos who own three. That's good news. The bad news? The Broncos have five Super Bowl losses. It started with a Super Bowl 12 loss to the Cowboys. Then John Elway endured three painful defeats of his own before winning two rings. Peyton Manning's Broncos were embarrassed by the Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl 48, but they got redemption two years later by winning that third title. Detroit Lions, 26 straight road losses. The Lions defeated the Bears at Soldier Field in Week 8 of the 2007 season. Somehow it would be the franchise's last road victory for three years. The the Lions lost their final four road games in 07. Then they went 0-16 in 2008. Then they lost all eight road games in 2009, finishing 2-14 overall that year. After falling in their first six away games in 2010, the Lions finally ended a 26-game road losing streak with a thrilling overtime win against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Week 15. Green Bay Packers, most passing yards allowed in a season. This proud and historic franchise doesn't have many embarrassing feats, but man, that pass defense in 2011 was downright awful. The Packers that year allowed a ridiculous 4,796 passing yards, the most ever in one year, and yet they won 15 games thanks to league MVP Aaron Rodgers. Houston Texans, tie. 
Worst one season turnaround. The 2013 Texans shared this record with the 1994 Houston Oilers. The 93 Oilers and 2012 Texans both went 12 and 4. One year later, they both went 2 and 14. Indianapolis Colts, most points allowed in a season. The 1981 Colts, who were then the Baltimore Colts, may have fielded the worst defense in league history. That year, the team allowed an NFL record 533 points or 33.3 per game. Opponents put up 37 plus on them seven times. The fewest points they allowed in a game, 21. Jacksonville Jaguars, longest single season losing streak with wins. Yes, the 2020 Jaguars shared this record with the 01 Panthers. Jacksonville stunned the Colts in their week one opener, only to lose each of their final 15 games. On the bright side, it landed them Trevor Lawrence, so it was totally worth the embarrassment. Kansas City Chiefs, fewest sacks in a 16 game season. Jared Allen led the NFL with 15.5 sacks in 2007. The Chiefs traded him to the Minnesota Vikings in the offseason, setting the stage for history. In 2008, the Chiefs mustered only 10 sacks. Tamba Holly led the team with three. Only he and Jason Babbitt recorded multiple sacks that year. Gets away from the sack. Now Babbitt does sack him. And there might be a parade downtown <laughs> Kansas City. The Chiefs had their 10th sack of the season. Las Vegas Raiders, most penalized team in a season. The 2011 Raiders won 8-8, eight eight, but missed out on the AFC West division in a three-way tiebreaker that went to the Broncos. If they displayed some half-decent discipline on the field, they could have easily won the division. The Raiders committed 163 penalties in 2011, which stands as a record. Their 1,358 penalty yards were also a record, but the Seahawks broke that feat two seasons later. Los Angeles Chargers, fewest rushing yards in a 16-game season. No surprise that a one-win team would set an NFL record. In 2000, the Chargers only accumulated 1,062 rushing yards, the worst ever under the 16-game regular season format. On the bright side, the Chargers proceeded to draft a Hall of Famer in LaDainian Tomlinson, who on his own surpassed 1,062 rushing yards in eight different seasons. Los Angeles Rams, tie. Longest home losing streak. This is tied with the 1988 and 89 Cowboys, but we figured it was worth mentioning in two separate entries. St. Louis matched this feat from 2008 to 2010. The 08 Rams lost their final five home games at the Edward Jones Dome. They won 1-15 in 2009, losing all eight home titles. After losing their week one home opener to the Arizona Cardinals in 2010, the Rams finally ended the 14-game home losing skid with a 30-16 victory over Washington in week three. Miami Dolphins, biggest playoff blowout loss in the Super Bowl era. The Bears crushed Washington 73-0 in the 1940 NFL Championship game, marking the biggest blowout in NFL history. But in the Super Bowl era, no team was more embarrassed in a postseason game than the 99 Dolphins. Miami visited the top-seeded Jaguars in the 1999 AFC Divisional Round. And what turned out to be Dan Marino's final game, the Dolphins are blown out 62-7. 24 of Jacksonville's points came in the opening quarter. Minnesota Vikings, most playoff losses. Probably safe to say that the Vikings, Lions, Browns, and Bills are on the NFL's Mount Rushmore franchises who have broken their fans hearts the most. While the Lions and Browns have been mostly awful in the Super Bowl era, many has been a fairly consistent regular season winner. The postseason is a whole other story though. Through the 2020 season, the Vikings had 30 losses, the most in NFL history. New England Patriots, tie. Most Super Bowl losses. It's not really that embarrassing. The Patriots are tied with the Pittsburgh Steelers for the most Super Bowl wins with six. They're also tied with the Broncos for most Super Bowl losses with five. Even the GOAT Tom Brady himself lost three of them. New Orleans Saints, most consecutive non-winning seasons. The Saints joined the NFL in 1967. They wouldn't record their first winning season until the 1987 season, when they went 12 and three. The season was shortened because of the strike. Needless to say, it took the franchise a long time to turn a corner. New York Giants, most points allowed per game. The 1981 Colts may have allowed the most total points in a season, but the 1966 Giants hold an equally embarrassing feat, the most points allowed per game. In a 14-game season, the Giants allowed 501 total points. Bad enough for 35.8 points allowed per game. That surpasses the 33.3 the Colts allowed on average in 1981. New York Jets, tie. Fewest rushing touchdowns in a 16-game season. In 1995, the New York Jets had just two total rushing touchdowns. And here's Morrell. Leans in, has the score. Well, that's only the Jets' second rushing touchdown touchdown of 95, and they waited until the 10th week to get the first one. That is tied with the 05 Arizona Cardinals for the fewest in a 16-game season. How is that even possible? Who knows? Philadelphia Eagles, most sacks allowed in the season. The 1986 Eagles surged
certainly weren't the worst team in history. They went 5-10-1. That year, the Eagles allowed 104 total sacks, the most ever in a single season. Philly used three starting quarterbacks that year. Randall Cunningham took 72 of the 104 sacks. Pittsburgh Steelers, fewest passing first downs in a season. More nitpicking here, because the Steelers are a historically successful franchise. But uh, the 1941 team, which went 1-9-1, sure left a lot to be desired. That year, the Steelers recorded just 18 total passing first downs. Yeah, it was only an 11-game season. But for comparison's sake, the 2-8-1 Eagles had 59 passing first downs. And the Cleveland Rams, who won just two games that year, had 44 passing first downs. San Francisco 49ers, most turnovers in a season. Before the start of the glorious Joe Montana, Bill Walsh, Jerry Rice days, the 49ers had to get through a painful second half of the 1970s decade. The 49ers hit rock bottom in 1978, losing 14 of 16 games. They also committed a whopping 63 turnovers, the most ever in a single season. Seattle Seahawks, fewest yards gained in a 16-game season. The 1992 Seahawks used three different starting quarterbacks. They somehow won two games despite averaging, wait for it, 8.8 .8 points per game. Oof. So you shouldn't be surprised to hear that the 92 Seahawks also set the record for the fewest yards gained in a 16-game season with just 3,374 total yards of offense. That's gross. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, lowest all-time winning percentage. Some of you probably expected the Bucks' 26-game losing streak, which spanned from 1976 to 77, but it's the Chicago Cardinals who hold the longest ever losing skid from 1942 to 45 having lost 29 straight contests. Even though they have two Super Bowl victories, both in the 21st century, the Bucks actually hold the all-time lowest regular season winning percentage. Through the 2020 season, the Bucks were 278, 429, and one, which works out to a winning percentage of just .393. Tennessee Titans, biggest blown lead. They don't call it the comeback for nothing. The Houston Oilers, who are now the Titans, of course, held a 35 to three lead over the Bills in the 1992 wildcard round. But as you all know, it was the home team who emerged victorious 41 to 38 in overtime. The Oilers blew a 32-point lead, the biggest in NFL history. Washington football team, longest playoff drought ever. Including the pre-Super Bowl era, no team has a longer NFL playoff drought than Washington. The franchise missed out in the postseason every year from 46 to 70. That's right, 25 straight years of no playoff football. The drought finally ended in 1971, when new head coach George Allen led the team to a 9-4-1 record. What do you think is the most embarrassing record in NFL history? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS on social media. We post great content all the time. Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. We're on everything. Go subscribe, go follow. If you like this video, give it a like. It takes one click down below and subscribe to TPS. We post videos every day. Every day is a new video. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo. I'll see you next time. My knee.